Let's look at how to do something really useful in QGIS, and that is to count the number of points within each area on the map. I've got two map layers here. I've got one map layer in green, which is local government districts across Great Britain, and the points layer is railway stations. Now, if I zoom in to the Liverpool area, we can see that we could manually count the number of dots in this case there are train stations within the boundary of Liverpool City Council. But we can do this automatically very quickly in QGIS. And here's how we're going to do it. If we go to the vector menu, and then what we need to do is go to the analysis tools option and count points in, in polygon. So we're going to count the number of points that fall within each polygon, so each local government area shape. So the polygons layer here is going to be our districts layer. The points layer is our rail stations. We don't need to do anything with the next two options because all we're doing is counting. By default, the new column in the new layer that counts the points will be called num points. That's fine. I just sometimes change it to what the data is and I'll call this one stations. And if you just hit run, it won't save it to a permanent layer but I do want a layer to be saved on my computer, so I'll click Browse, Save to Geo Package. I'll call it Station Count by District. Save that, I'll paste that layer name into the box here. I'll click OK, and then I'll hit Run. Now, when I hit Run, it'll be super quick. Check it out. There we go. On my computer, it's really fast. My computer's quite powerful. It might not be as fast as yours and the new layer will be added. It'll probably have an ugly color like this, but if you open the table, you will see we've got the station count. We can see all those ones with no stations, and the highest number is Glasgow. So the local authority district of Glasgow has 60 stations in it. And then of course, you could double click the layer, and if you wanted to, you could do it in graduated but it's usually better to normalize it by population for that kind of thing. So that's how you do point and polygon count, the vector menu, analysis tools, and then count points in polygon.